Hello, Air Signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Air Signs, I'm being led to use the flash deck for your reading today, okay? Um, just take what resonates, my darlings. Leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. Thank you for the likes, all of my subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody new here. All right, so Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? Messages for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so these are two schemers here. But Spirit is seeing, it's almost like there's a couple of people that have been working against you, okay? Scheming, laughing. Um, spreading your name through the dirt, through the mud. Um, these are two karmic individuals. They could be two feminine energies, and they're under judgment right now. Spirit has seen everything that they've done. Um, I feel like they didn't want you to have your wishes fulfilled. Okay, this is coming out on its side. That's wish fulfillment. They, maybe these two I'm picking up to that they, um, yeah, see, they wanted to stop your abundance. They wanted to stop anything from flowing towards you. Um, they wanted to stop your, uh, some kind of wish fulfillment. They could even be trying to, I don't know, something about your family or your children. Maybe they're they're even like casting some spell work on you guys, um, all of you. But see, you're protected. Spirit has you protected, though. Okay. I'm getting the sense that the uh, whatever these two have been planning for you, whatever they've been doing sneaky behind your back, they're going to have that energy sent back to them. Okay. Um, now this doesn't have this doesn't have to be about love. This can be friends, family, um, situations at work. Okay, so take it how it resonates with you. But I feel like, um, yeah, look, ooh, these two are under judgment so bad. I'm kind of feeling like they're gonna have a tower moment. Okay, this to me, this com combination is a tower. Something is going to be crumbling down and they're going to have to rebuild. Um, so, yeah, I, I feel like they're about to get major karma here. This is also with the higher font coming out. This is God. Um, this is actually um, lessons, right? Lessons that they're being taught here. And this is the school. <laughs> yeah, spirit is sending these people to school, okay? Um I feel like anything that they were wishing for is not going to happen. Yeah, the world card. These two, these, I feel like these are two karmic individuals. Um, they were trying to ruin your progress. They were uh, spreading your name through the mud, like um, a lot of gossip, right? Um, talking smack about you behind your back, lies and laughing about it okay i feel like this is their karma this is gonna hurt these two i'm telling you spirit has had enough they're protecting the collective yeah oh boy these two are about are about to be so like in a lot of regret this is regret okay They were warned. Here's the thing, especially if you're a divine feminine, divine masculine, people have been warned to, to back off of you, all right? Um, not send you any more spell work. Stop messing with the collective. You know, they've been warned. I'm kind of getting the sense that somebody is starting to defend you, okay? This is somebody bossing up into an emperor, Yep, defending the empress, okay? Divine feminine energy. Yep, against all of this slander to your name. Oh, they are, they are saying enough is enough. 
this needs to stop. It needs to stop now. I feel like there's a divine masculine that's sticking up for a divine feminine here. This is a divine masculine card. Okay. And they are shutting these two um, karmic feminines down. Uh, anytime they hear about this gossip, they get angry. They get upset. They, um, they stand up for you immediately. Okay, yeah, somebody, these fake individuals are making this person feel sick. The gossip, the rumors, the lies, it's all making this masculine energy feel sick to their stomach. Okay, they may, these two um, dark feminine energies may even be spreading some gossip about this masculine as well. I feel like this masculine has put you up on a pedestal and um, they're not they're not going to allow any more gossip or slander on your name they could even be um, these two dark feminine energies could even be telling this masculine secrets to the public, um, something about their money or how they make their money, or um, maybe it was some kind of like, yeah, see this is and this is scaring your person because maybe they've done something illegal here for money. Uh, yeah, or this could be like a um, some kind of scam or something. I feel like um, they and this masculine. Um, I'm kind of getting the sense that maybe they don't have a whole lot of money left because this karmic individual has spent it all. These, this, these karmics, I'm telling you, there's two of them. There's two dark feminine friends working together um, to spread all of this gossip around about you and this masculine. And this masculine is getting irate. They definitely don't want this secret out that they have about their money and how they made some money here. They're trying to keep that one a secret, okay? But they're also defending you now. They're standing up for you. Yeah, see, and whatever this is is lies. So these karmic feminines are just telling a bunch of lies to like everyone in the community. Yeah, everyone in the community. And spirit is getting really ticked off. Like, the, um, I feel like the divine has had enough of this. Okay? Yeah, see, your person doesn't have much money left. Five cents to their name. Yeah, and this karmic, these karmics, whoever's doing this thinks it's funny. Okay? This masculine is turning their back on this karmic. Um, and, you know, I got this in another reading, too. Somebody could be lying about this masculine, saying that they've been abusive, maybe physically abusive. Okay? They're scared. because the, And whoever this is spreading these rumors, it's like they don't stop. They're constantly thinking of what else are we going to put out there to the public today, right? Yeah, man. You're and this masculine though, they're turning their back on this karmic situation. They're mad. Okay, yeah, they're turning all they're turning this masculine's reputation and their life into a, a an ish show, okay? It's for real. Um it's like carnage, right? This is a bathroom scene. Yeah, it's a, I, I want to say, it's a, it's a crap show. Everything is being exposed. Everything. Um, maybe they're intimate secrets as well. Okay? Things that they never want put out there. Um, so I'm kind of getting that, maybe it's not all lies. Some of it is the truth. But this whole thing with the abuse and the um, possibly the money, that, that could be a lie as well. I, I feel like your person's scared, especially, yeah, see, they're, they're being protective. They're protecting whatever they've built for themselves, which there isn't much left of it. And they're protecting their divine feminine. 
they're afraid that some kind of information is going to come out about their money though okay so i feel like this person had some like cd business deals or something um yeah look all of this exposure uh, i feel like the karmic is going to expose some things to their um their family possibly tell their father about this stuff they're afraid of that as well but this is going to make your person see the people that have their back and the people that don't. They're going to they're going to be able to look at everyone and be able to tell who's a true friend and who's really there for them and who isn't. Okay? They're angry, man. This person's like big mad, they're scared. Yeah. And I feel like they're walking away from a lot of people here, too. You know, people that it just can't be really repaired with anymore. Okay? Um, and this karmic, see, they're happy about that. that. Now this masculine is feeling isolated and alone. All the secrets are coming out. There's a bunch of lies that are being spread around as well. Their life is turning into a mess. Other people are turning against this masculine now, believing some of this stuff. Um, they're, the, they're losing friends. They're losing family members. They're losing any kind of credibility. They're losing business as well. This could be um, ruining their reputation to affect this person's money. Okay, yeah, they're scared. And they feel like this is over, uh, like over for them, right? Like this could actually ruin this person's business. If they have a business that they've started, I feel like um, it's, yeah, they, they are so mad. This karmic is kind of attacking everything that they've built. Yeah, this person's going to be poor. If people believe the um, the rumors about the abuse or um, if the secrets come out about some kind of illegal action that they did to make money, they'll be going to jail. So they're, they're, they're going to end up losing all of their abundance and finances, right? All of their money. They're going to be ending up going to jail. Oh, my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. This karmic, man. And yeah, look at how this person is mad, mad, big, mad, collective. Because all of a sudden, like within, within just... Uh, a matter of a day or two, this person's whole life has been completely turned upside down. They may have had it, you know, kind of good, owning their own business, you know. They had a good thing going on, whatever. Maybe this person was making good money at one point. Um, now nobody is going to want to give them any business. No one's going to believe them, that, and they could end up in jail. I kid you not. And they're really mad because you're choosing a new path here. Um, you're uh, starting a whole new life, and they're feeling like a fool. Look, because they remain loyal to a karmic individual that is now completely ruining their life. Meanwhile, the one for them, now that they're defending in the background, the one for them is, is moving on, okay? And their life, I'm telling you, it's an ish show, okay? <laughs> it is. It's being flushed down the toilet. I kind of get the sense, too, that they, they don't want you to know any of this that's going on. Like, this person wants to keep you out of it, okay? Uh, this is a huge tower moment for your person and your the divine spirit is like just get on this bus it's time to rebuild now that you see everything for what it really is it's time to go okay it's time to go yeah so this yeah and and this masculine is going to say goodbye to this karmic situation for good i'm telling you Yep, for good. It'll be permanent after this. It will be permanent. So, yeah, Spirit's telling them it's time to walk away. It's time to put it in the past. 
it's time to rebuild something solid, something strong. It's time to put that effort into yourself and a change in your life. Yep, walk away for good. Okay, <laughs> wow. So this is a masculine who's leaving behind a karmic situation. But I'm telling you, um, they're not leaving unscathed. Their, uh, their life is a wreck right now because of all the gossip um, and all the secrets that are coming out. Because of these two karmic, fe dark feminine energies that are spreading all of these rumors around. Okay? Yeah. Um, I feel like Spirit's telling them, look, in the past you didn't put in any effort. You sat in a comfort zone until now all of this is happening. Um, now it's time to actually put in that effort. Okay? Walk away. Make it permanent. And yeah, this person, oh, they're dealing with a lot of, like, cleanup right now in their life, okay? Um, I feel like this person, they're already protecting you. I know they want you back. I know they're missing you, and they feel like an idiot for choosing this person over you. But they're not quite ready to come towards you yet, okay? They're not. If they come towards you now, I'm getting that they're... Um, it'll be inadequate some way. They need to do some growing. They need to do some work on themselves and be completely free from this situation. Spirit doesn't want them to bring this karmic storm to you. Okay, so um, yeah, this could take a while. I, I'm not going to lie. Because um, they've got a lot of work to do, a lot of cleanup. Your person could be a Virgo. I just have it on the bottom of the deck. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See, they will eventually come towards you, collective. Um, my air signs, right? Uh, but they're very slow moving. Okay? They're not coming in fast enough. They're feeling really betrayed right now. They're being hit hard with a lot of toxic energy right now in their life. Okay? They're having to deal with the devil right now. This is the, this is the price they pay for the decisions they made. This is, um, this is the um, consequences for what they chose over a divine feminine. Okay? So right now, every, every decision they made um, is coming back to haunt them. Okay? And they're, it's, oh, they're having to deal with a lot of toxicity right now they're, um, and betrayal. I feel like this, uh, yep, and the secrets, yeah, the secrets and the, uh, everything that they tried to keep hidden is coming out into the open. This person, though, they can't stop thinking about you. They're hoping for an opportunity to come in and talk to you try to make this right, possibly um, heal this. This person could be having a lot of dreams about you as well. With the moon, the six of cups, and the three of wands. So they could be um, ha dreaming about you every night. Maybe having, they could even have a hard time sleeping. Yeah, they know they need to come and apologize. This is, yeah. And they've kept their back turned for a while now. Uh, maybe they were hoping for the right opportunity. Look, yeah. They know if they don't apologize soon, they're going to miss all opportunities with you. But I feel like there's something that's holding this person back. And I feel like it's spirit. The divine, you know, right now they're still going through a karmic storm, a big mess. And spirit doesn't want them bringing any of this kind of energy to you. So this is why your person is feeling maybe a bit panicked because they know they need to come in and apologize, but um, they're not ready to yet. Or it feels like spirit is kind of holding them back. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Yeah, look at how burdened they are. 
they're burdened over this. They know that you're their divine feminine. They know what they've done to you. It's, it's almost like waiting to come forward to apologize now is, is more than they can bear, okay? But they have to get through their karma. They, this, is, this is their karma for their choices. This is the consequence they have for the choice that they made. So they need to get through this. Yeah, karma. Look at that. Boom. And until they get through this karma, they can't come towards you with this offer. You know, and I'm seeing you in this uh, Ten of Pentacles energy, ready for someone new. I feel like this person is really worried that you're going to meet somebody new before they can come in to apologize. And it, they may be absolutely right about that. I do see somebody coming in to communicate with you, and you are ready for the right kind of love. You are ready for a commitment and something that's dedicated and loyal, okay? I feel like you're single right now. You're independent. You're every queen in the deck. Um, you're the empress. Everybody wants an empress. I feel like there's, there's new people that are um, coming towards you now, new love offers. This person may, may full well know about that. I'm feeling this feeling of panic, right? Um, but still, they can't come towards you until they get through this karma. Spirit does not want them bringing this karma to you, so they may actually show up a bit too late. Um, let's get your advice or just pull some oracles, whatever spirit wants you to know, okay? What advice do you have for my beautiful air signs? Advice for air signs, please. What do you have for air signs? A change, yeah. This wants to come out on its side, though. Um, but, yeah, a change is coming. And I, I feel like your person... Um, their life, their whole life is changing. Your whole life is changing. I'm getting that you're about to receive a message from someone. I'm getting that this is your person from your past coming back around, okay? They want to come back around. So you could receive a phone call, a text message. You know, but I feel like it's going to be a little while still. I'm getting that energy that... um Spirit is wanting this person to get through their karma first. Yeah, see, I, I'm getting that um, you are to manifest something new, right? And, and really go big. Reach for the moon, okay? Um, and a new opportunity is about to come towards you. I'm kind of getting the sense that Spirit wants you to grab a hold of something new. Okay, if a new opportunity comes in, if you feel like dating somebody new, don't wait for this person. They do want to come back around, but look, their life is being completely um, dismantled right now, is really what I, what I want to say. Or they could be getting stripped of things right now. They do want to come back in. But they're physic. They can't. Spirit's not allowing them to physically approach you. So I feel like spirit is leading you to manifest some new dreams for yourself. Grab a hold of a new opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Because right now, all this person can really do is think about you. Maybe send you a text message and watch you. So they're they're doing a lot of spying. They want to heal this, yes, but, um, but they're not ready to come towards an empress yet. They're still, right now, they're paying some massive karmic debt, okay? Anyway, air signs, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, right? Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, air signs, take care of you and peace out.